Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome to Portal. Now, let's just get started by going into a new game. On Test Chamber Zero. Here we are. We get to walk around wherever we want to. Pick up things and drop them. There's a lot of things on this. I don't know if I can zoom in or not. Maybe I can? Maybe I can't, but anyway. Hello, and again, There's cake. To the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun, and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities. Serious injuries may occur. For your own safety and the safety of others, please refrain from. The portal will open in three, two, one. So basically, we're in trouble. Kind of, maybe. We're just. Testing, I guess. Also, I can interact with the toilet and make it flush. Oh my goodness, that's funny. But anyway, we can take this radio with us as well. Ah, uh, but the main thing of portal is, as you could probably guess, portals. So whenever you see these two portals around, we actually go through one and go through the other, which is pretty cool. We can also see ourselves by doing this. So, uh, it's probably fine that the all the text that we didn't need, or that was we were warned about went by so fast, but anyway. I'm not planning on doing all the achievements, but I want to show that you can take this radio with you. Let's think over here, and you get a transmission. Which is interesting. Ah, uh, but anyway. This is a, a puzzle game, so... Which is pretty cool. Now, we have... a cube dispenser, which has dropped a cube. And we have... A door, which we need to get to. This is this is the main rule of portal puzzles: is get to the exit, basically. Uh, we can see this line on the ground, which shows what is activating the door, or what is needs to be activated to open the door. And this is a button here, so if we press that down, it opens the door. Ah, uh, but we need to actually pick up this cube and put that on the button, just like that. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grid will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. So this, this, uh, this thing in front of us that's a, a field of something will destroy anything that's not supposed to be leaving the test, so... We can't take anything extra with us that's not supposed to be outside of the puzzle. But anyway, let's go into the elevator. Okay. So now that we're in test one, let's head on in Please and see what we can do here. That's a big name for a button, but anyway, in this test chamber, the portals are changing around, or at least the ones that are connected to the orange one. So we just need to take the. Um, this is probably fine, but we just need to take the cube from the room with the cube and then take it out into the middle room, take it back through to the 
the button and then go to the exit. So that's pretty much all there is. Also, there's, uh, hang on, I can hear it, but I don't know where it is. I think it's back somewhere. But there's a, uh, oh, it's up there on the, the camera looking at me. There's a radio in a lot of the test chambers, and if you can get all the messages, trends, uh, transmissions received, you get an achievement. But I've tried that before and I, for some reason I didn't get the achievement, even though I got all of them. Okay, let's see what we're looking at now. You know, it's it's a little bit concerning when you say stuff like that to me. Uh, but anyway, test number two. It also has all these faded out things down here, which we can see, like cube being dropped, <laughs> cube hitting somebody on the head. Don't know what that's all about. There's water, <laughs> maybe. A lot of stuff that we can't really see too well, but we'll understand later on. Ah, uh, but now we need to wait for this to shoot in our direction, so we can actually get through the portal to get through. Come on. So close now. We just don't have to worry about being in the way of it as it shoots. So there we go, we can go through that. And now we can pick this up. It's always good to hear when the, there's just stuff that tells me that just cut off, you know? So if I can get that to work, that'd be great. I'll destroy whatever I want. You can't stop me. But now we have this portal gun, so we can actually press the left click or whatever button it is to place a blue portal, which will connect to the orange one. So now we can somewhat control where we're going, which is good for us. This is fairly simple puzzles at the moment, we just need to go to where we need to go. As I've already mentioned, I will destroy whatever I want. Ah. Well, I thought that dropped... I thought that dropped into the void for a second, but it's okay. Now, I don't know where exactly this is supposed to go. I, I think I know where most, like, a fair bit of the transmissions are. But, I don't know, I just... For some reason, when I last did the... I tried to get the achievement, it just didn't work. I know I've also missed one of the transmissions already in one of the previous rooms here. With the cube and the portal changing around. But the orange portal is always in a set position, so we have to use that to figure out what we're doing. Welcome to test chamber four. You're doing quite well. Thank you. This actually says that there's a cube in here because of that now, so. I believe you can actually get, you can actually die if that cube lands on you possibly. 
Uh, if you die though, you just respawn. That's not trippy at all. <laughs> That's not really to do of why. Certain objects may be vital to your hey. success. Do not destroy testing apparatus. Another radio, which I think goes back over this way. Yep. I don't know how I remember some of these things, because I, I haven't played this in such a long time. Oh, go through. Thank you. Let's take this cube onto the switch, so we can get through. Excellent work. As part of our required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. Oh, cool. I'm going to the next puzzle without supervision. What could possibly go wrong? Portal's just such a cool game. And it gets a lot cooler. As we go further in. Okay, also... Something I should point out now, if there's the walls like this... Or like the roofs like that... Or floors that are uh, coloured white, like this kind of texture, it means you can place portals on it. Uh, but the portal has to actually be able to fit into that space that you're shooting it into, so it can... It'll, it'll usually fit into something next to, like further to the left or right, or up or down, depending on what's around it, so it can fit in. Uh, but if it's uh, this texture of like black cubes or whatever, you can't place portals on that either, so it's just the the white tiling or paneling Vital stuff. You really just say that every single time, don't you? Uh, but anyway, we need to get this cube, and probably the other cube over there as well. So let's drop that over there. I think I almost... Oh, I actually did get that to land. Oh, well, that's not where I wanted that. It's fine. Let me just put that on there. Oh, hey, there's this thing. Oh, I can't go back. I, I think you have to go back with that. That's fine. You lied to me? As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two... Vital testing apparatus destroyed. Well, anyway, so can't go back now, which is probably fine. But you lied to me. You were—you said you weren't going to monitor me as I went through the test. I you lied. You were still testing me. As that, that was part of the test. Is this what reality is like? Loading. Very obvious loading zones in the elevators, but it's it's a good idea for loading zones, just having uh, elevators like that. Uh, but anyway, we have a new thing. I have been vaporized. Also, if you die, you have to click to... Or do something to respawn. But anyway, this thing will kill you. Ah, uh, but we can actually do something with it. So, let's do that. Also, there's not a lot of places to place portals in here, which I guess is probably a good thing since the thing will hurt us. It also will fade slowly over time and then break, dispelling itself. But anyway, if we open a portal there, it will go through the portal and get to this thing and activate. <laughs> I'm glad that I filled out that form before I started this testing. Put in all that information for them. But anyway, I can hear the radio as well. I think it's... It's nearby. Is it underneath me? I really don't... No, I think it's on a wall somewhere. Unless it's inside of a wall. It's a little bit hard to tell. Well, I, I'm not doing it anyway, so I should probably just keep moving. But anyway, we can use those orbs to energize things like that to solve puzzles, so... A new element has been added, and so we can do some different testing with that. We're learning. Just baby, you're fine. Okay, never mind. Just, it looks like fireworks. Oh, hello. Alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found 
to agitate the high energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. Oh, I need to go through the portal quickly. Nope, missed. It's fine. Hey, me, how are you doing? Ah, uh, but we've also got this platform here which moves after activated, which is interesting. Which I guess is kind of another element, but it's not really. I wouldn't consider it an element. So it's just a platform. But I mean it's a moving platform, so we have to keep that in mind, I guess. Since platforms where to move now. But we're getting through this quite quickly. We're already up to chamber eight, probably, since that was chamber seven. I guess they're not that complicated if you know what you're doing, but it has been a while since I last played this, and that's my excuse. <laughs> yeah, yes, of course. The first thing you talk about is the failure on my record, and not the fact that I'm gonna die first. De death is a, a secondary problem when you fail a test. Uh, anyway, we need to have this bounce back through the portal and go to that, which is pretty cool. So I need to get onto that platform, so I need to probably go through here and then over there, but I was a bit slow on that, but that's okay. This is pretty cool. Also, there's some rooms behind the glass, which doesn't look like there's anyone in there, but it's it's an office, so there should be people watching me. Also, hello there. I can see you, but I don't think I'm going to be able to grab you or take you where you need to go, which is probably over that way. And that seems like a lot of work for a radio, especially since I've already missed a radio. You also have to get all the radios on a, a full run, so you have to play through the whole game getting all the radios. You can't just come back and get the ones you missed. You have to Get them all at once. Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. That's comforting. So, the more danger, the more fun testing. Right? Right. 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 Maybe a little bit left. Uh, but anyway. Let's see what's next. So we now have several ways we can die. The cubes following us wasn't really a problem. Uh, the the beam, energy balls, uh, they, that was pretty bad. Uh, and then the floor that is has full of dangerous liquid. Uh, that's not great, but anyway. Enrichment Center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. Oh. No attempt to solve it. Okay. I won't. I'll just sit in the corner or something and cry. Can't go any further back there. Uh, but anyway, we have a cube. Let's take this cube wherever we can. We have this grill here, so that means that if we try to take the cube through, it will be destroyed. That's why this thing is here. For this clearly broken test chamber. So if, if the cube gets destroyed, it will just respawn here, so we don't have to worry about it going away permanently. Uh, but anyway, I believe this also... I just realized something. This is interesting, because Once again, you're supposed to go through here and like place a portal through there, the and then take the cube through, but you can just walk through there and then place a portal. That's weird. Anyway, you need to just do that. There's also that Fantastic. thing there. You remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. They lied to me again as part of the test. Lying is a test. What is this? Well, at least I solved the impossible test, so... I can brag about that, I guess, except it wasn't impossible, so I guess it's, uh... I don't know. Does that... Sa it, it sounds like it's a good thing, but I'm not sure if it is or not. Hello again. To reiterate... <laughs> Can you run that by me one more time? 
You sound like the owl from Ocarina of Time when I just skipped through all of text. Uh, anyway, we need to use portals to get around. You know, that crazy thing that we've not done for a little bit. Uh, but anyway now, this is going to be something different that we can do with building momentum. Because if we jump down here, we can't take fall damage, which is good because we have special shoes on or something. So when we go through a portal with the speed through it, we go through at a different angle and we still keep that momentum going forward. So it can be pretty helpful for going places. Uh, but anyway... I also want to get rid of the music, kind of. Okay. Also, you can't place portals on a moving surface, so that's something else to keep in mind. Let's put a portal up there. And let's jump into here. Whee! Okay. I love that explanation. Anyway, we're a bit higher up now, so we go a lot further. Uh, but also, it moved closer, so it doesn't really change that much. But anyway, let's keep moving. Speedy thing goes in, speedy thing goes out. Ah, portal. The writing is perfect. Always provide useful advice. For instance, the floor here will kill you. Try to avoid it. Well, that's very helpful of you. Oh, hey, camera shy. I haven't done that apparently. Where you destroy as many cameras as possible in a run. It's fairly similar to um, what's it called? So I need to go through that. Because if I press this button by pressing the active or pick up button, that will activate that door. Uh, but once we place a portal through there, we can wait for the portal, orange portal to be placed there and we can go through here. Uh, now, I have another problem, but I think it's fine because I think if I just place this here, it should, in theory, go it directly to where it needs to go. And now I just need to wait. I don't think that's going to generate any more after it's done what it needs to do. But now that platform over there is going over there. So if I wait just one more portal rotation. Now we can get onto this platform. Like that. And now. Oh, that was close. We can grab this. But now, we have the second portal gun, and now we can place blue and orange portals using left and right on the, our mouse, or whatever buttons on our controller, I don't really know. Uh, but now we need to wait for this platform to come back, because we can't really go anywhere else, I don't think. Which is a little bit annoying. But I can manage. Okay. Also, I think going through the... The... The grills that destroy objects, I believe it resets your portal gun as well. So that you can't place another portal and have it link back to something in the test. Possibly? I can't remember. Anyway. So if I do that... If I go through this, that resets the portals so they disappear. Okay, let's keep going.
bright screen. Fling myself, fling into space. Okay. I can probably do that. We'll have a thing there. And stuff up there, so let's jump into that. Level two. Let's do the same thing again. Just like that. I probably could have just changed the other portal, but anyway. What does this button do? That opens the door, okay. Oh, and that's moving. I don't know why it took so long for that to move, but anyway. Can I please place a portal there? Thank you. And now let's jump off of here like that. Fling ourselves all the way up here. Ah, uh, but now we need to take this cube back, so let's be careful not to miss that jump. Put that there, and now we just need to jump through again. Down we go! Okay, we made it. Oh, whoa. We. I agree. That was pretty fun. Flinging yourself is a lot of fun. Just one portal to the next. More momentum. All that. Okay. Chamber 13 out of 19. Now that you are in control of both portals, this next test will take a very, very long time. If you become lightheaded from thirst, feel free to pass out. An incubation associate will be dispatched to revive you with peptic cell and adrenaline. Okay, well, you said it was going to take me a while, so I'm going to take as long as I need, obviously. Uh, is there another cube? Oh, yes, there is. Back in the other room. Um, I guess I can go back for it. You can also just, uh, step on the other portal, probably, and place a portal through there. Uh, but anyway, let's just hop through that. Place that there. Because we can do that instead of using this cube here. But this actually means that we can take a cube with us. Or both cubes. As part of a previously mentioned required test protocol, we can no longer lie to you. When the testing is over, you will be missed. Um, okay. So I think you can probably get the other cube with you as well. But I didn't do it right, so it's fine. When the testing is over, I will be missed. That's good. Although I'd be ashamed to not have a portal gun anymore, I guess. After the testing is over. Wow, this is a lot of things. <laughs> no drinking fountain. I don't remember that being there. Also, there's a cake. There's cake. I need the cake. Uh, anyway, let's take a look at this test. Also, why can't I just do this? Instead of taking the stairs. I am an excellent test subject, thank you. Ah, uh, but anyway, we have this now. Well, so I'm pretty sure we can skip a lot of this test if we place the portal there and jump through the ground here when the stairs went up, but anyway. I missed my opportunity to skip straight to the end. Ah, uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll do what the game wants me to do. Because if, if you, yeah, I, yeah. Anyway, let's go through here. There's also that there, which you can probably grab if you do the same thing. Oh, cool. Well, let's grab that through there. Being very careful not to get hit by it. We can let it break as well, so that's good. Uh, but now I want to place that all the way over there. I don't know if that's around point, so I'm going to move that just a little bit more. Now the generator should throw one through and activate this.
That's a good grinding sound coming from the elevator.